We have 60 minutes to go save somebody's entire career. And it's literally 60 minutes because that's what they're presenting to their entire company and their laptop just crashed. I highly doubt he's run the five commands that help optimize and fix these issues. I think we've got this. So let's do this. So the first command we are going to run is a memory diagnostic check to make sure that there are no memory issues. So in your windows, go down to your search and type the MD SCHED and then this pops up Windows Memory Diagnostics. Open that up. When that pops up, two options, restart now to check for problems or you can check for problems the next time you restart. Select one of them and restart. Right, next up, we're gonna turn our attention to the hard drive. You wanna ensure that just like the memory, your hard drive has no corruptions. We do this with a tool that we've had back from the DOS days before Windows was even a thing, and that is called Check Disk. But make no mistake, this tool is as relevant today as it was back then. Check Disk's job is to diagnose and repair possible issues with your hard drive. There are two commands. One is a fix and the other is a repair. Now, they kind of sound like they do the same thing. I mean, a fix is a repair, isn't it? Well, not in this case. A fix is where Check Disk is looking at the file system itself. It is looking to make sure that everything is indexed correctly and can be accessed. I mean, think of it like this, like a table of contents in a book. It says that a certain topic is available on page 25. Then Check Disk kind of pages through to page 25 to make sure that that topic is indeed discussed on page 25. If it isn't, Check Disk will try fix that. In your Windows search, type CMD, right click on that, and then choose Run as Administrator. Now in your command prompt, type Check Disk space forward slash F for fix. You may see a message that looks like this. Would you like to schedule this volume to be checked next time the system restart? Select Yes, press Enter, and then of course, you'll need to restart. Now the repair option on Check Disk is something else completely. So let's stick with our book analogy. The repair looks at every single page within the book to make sure that the paper is fine, the fonts are readable, and the page itself isn't torn. It also looks at the blank pages to make sure that when you add new information, that page is ready to accept your data. If it finds that a page is torn, it will mark that page as a bad sector so that your computer knows not to write any data and will simply find another page instead. Because repair looks at the entire hard drive and not just where the data is, it takes a lot longer to run, obviously depending on the size of your hard drive. Now with this kind of particular laptop and the time crunch that I'm under, I'm going to run the fix first. Only if I see there are loads and loads of errors, then I'm going to go run the repair. And here is how you do that. Type CMD in the Windows search, right click, run as administrator, and now you have the command prompt. This time we're gonna type check disk space forward slash R for repair. Same message as before, press yes. Next time you want to restart your computer, it will run and then restart it. Now you should see something that looks like this, fixing the C drive stage four. It's gonna go through all bits and bytes on your computer, looking at each individual sector. This will take some time. Do not panic. Do not abort this halfway through. Now, it is worth noting that Windows itself also checks your hard drive, but I personally like to run this manually. And I will say this isn't a magic cure to fix your issues on your hard drive. If you're getting loads and loads of errors constantly, then this is a sign that something is up with your hard drive and you should probably get that checked out. And speaking of hard drives, you know when you delete a file or a folder, it doesn't actually remove the file or the folder from your hard drive. Instead, what it does is remove the reference from the index. So back to our book analogy, it's like removing the topic from the table of contents, but the actual information still lives on page 25. The problem is that when you want to sell your computer or give it to someone as a gift or donate it to charity, you want that peace of mind that all your info is not going to be there for anybody to simply retrieve. You want to know that this info is gone permanently. I personally use the System Mechanic Ultimate Defense from Iola, who are actually today's sponsors. Besides being able to optimize my computer with the system, there is an entire toolbox full of useful stuff that you can use. And that is where I discovered Drive Scrubber. What this does is perform a level of deletion that no recovery tool can get back. This is super useful if your hard drive becomes infected with malware or viruses that are hiding all over the drive. Once you use Drive Scrubber, you get a real fresh start, it nukes everything and nothing escapes. 
Only then do you restore your info from your backup, making sure that the virus isn't obviously hiding there first. Now, you can also use it on flash drive and SD cards, but it will not let you, by mistake, nook the actual hard drive that you're working on. Now, I've got a special discount to offer of 60% off when you use the code Liron. There is a link in the description below. Check it out. Okay, back to my laptop. I see the check disk has just completed and it looks like it detected a whole bunch of errors, which it has managed to fix. I reran the check disk again, and this time it came back as fine. So now that I know that the hard drive is working, the next step is to move to something called a system file checker or SFC for short. This is a tool that checks your Windows critical system files such as folders and registry keys that Windows needs in order just to operate. If it finds any errors, it will fix them using a cache copy that is on standby. Super simple to run and I'm gonna run this on this laptop now. And in the Windows start search, we're gonna type there CMD, right click as administrator to get to the command prompt in administrative mode. And this time we're gonna type SFC space forward slash scan now and press enter. It will start doing its thing. It's gonna start looking for the verification. It's gonna go through 0% all the way up to 100%. If it finds any errors, it will try and repair them. If you do see any errors, run this again until you see a message that looks like this. Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violation. Then you know you're good to go to the next step. Okay, next I wanna run something called the Deployment Imaging and Service Management or DISM tool. Essentially it's a handy little tool to have if Windows is generally unstable or it feels like something is off or if you have that Windows components which are corrupt or the SFC check that we've just ran, that fails, this is what you do next. In the same command prompt, we're gonna type there DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup stash image space forward slash restore health and then press enter. Now, what you'll see next happen on the screen is it's gonna start running the process. It's gonna start at 0% and then work its way all the way up to 100%. And then once it's done, you'll be able to see a message, something along the lines that it's 100%, the restore operation completed successfully. That is the message you're looking for. And if it finds any errors, it will actually fix them for you. Tool number five is kind of newish, but so useful. And this is called the WinGet tool. Now, if you're running Windows 10 22H2 or Windows 11 22H2, then this is probably already on your computer. If you're not, don't stress, you can head over to the Microsoft Store, do a search for the app installer and get that. And of course, it's free. Now, Winget is a Windows packaging manager, which does a whole bunch of things, but what we're gonna use it for is to make sure that everything and all our components, all our apps are actually updated to the latest version. And no, just doing a regular Windows update does not automatically update all your apps. It will find updates and those marked as optional, so it's up to you to just install them. So what Winget does is that it saves us a lot of time. Instead of having to bounce around from website to website, finding the latest version, manually installing them one by one, we can just do this with one simple command and here is how you do that. Back to the command prompt we go and this time you're gonna type there Winget space upgrade space dash dash all and then press enter. Give it a couple of seconds and it will start going through your entire process. It will start going through all the applications you have, the version that you have, and see if there's any new versions that are out there. If it finds new version, it's gonna try and install them. Now, they're not all going to be successful. Some of the ones are going to fail and you have to go to the individual websites and download the latest version manually. But for most things, this works like a dream. Voicemail. Well, bro, I hope you get this message before you go on stage. I don't know if we're going to make it. We did it. With only moments left to spare, we managed to get the laptop through to him. I now need a drink, but in the meantime, check out why you shouldn't leave your Wi-Fi on all the time. Also check out this video over here that YouTube thinks you should watch. Hit the head down here to subscribe and I'll see you in this video or this video or I'll see you in both. I need a drink.